Hey crew, Mark Atmaker here. We're going to be talking about uh, some stuff on ESP Raw number 174, uh, indulging in a little uh, post-workout recovery. It's very healthy. Um, can you flip that screen for me, please? Um, oh, first things for it, brand new shirts. Check out the little slogan there on the back. Yeah, combination, man. Gotta love it. Was I there long enough? Can you read that? Surely we call it speedy read at this point. Um, we're continuing on 174. We'll be continuing on with our, our path. Can you follow me down, please? Uh, we'll continue on with our path of doing, uh, obviously, old school boxing. On this particular volume, we're going to be looking hot and heavy at the old school high-low shell and four really canny defenses that come out of it. Keep in mind the high-low shell is not the, the Philly shell that you, you see floating around over the past few decades, uh, uh, which, which is still uh, the common vocabulary where you've got people staying in a high-low guard position. This was only used, this was used sparingly and uh, when you put all these four together, this really slick uh, uh, counters come out of it. We'll, be, we'll cover that heavily on, on 174. Also, we'll continue with our, our counter crossbody game, so we have a strong a counter JJ game because everybody, you just got to have it. And off on the uh, old school wrestling portion, we can continue on with our powerful short offense uh, front snaps and do a uh, front headlock position and, and working off from there. There's going to be lots of new subs on this particular one. On this particular clip, though, I'm going to do something a little different. Instead of showing you how to do something, I'm going to show you uh, five th different things that I think are mistakes. Uh, can I going to bring you in here, please? Uh, and see, tell you what, let's put you on your uh, left side head facing me, please. Yeah, so that was a stumper there for a moment, wasn't it? All right, on that left side facing me, we're talking about a shark fin finish. A shark fin, all right, I tell you, let's turn that around so you don't have to face that back wall so people can hold on this show. There you go. Um, shark fin finish, a dorsal lock. It's basically, it's just, it's a top side double wrist lock. So we all seen this position here where we're working to here, where we're going to finish off. So I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. What I will be discussing in great detail in 174 is how we get there. In my opinion, in my considered opinion of being an old man, there's only one wise way to wind up in this position or to follow into this uh, position and obviously we will cover that. If we're jumping to it willy-nilly and starting from right here in a static isolation position, for the life of me, I'm not sure what the hell happened from this bottom person to be that sucky of a fighter for you for them to let you get there. There's a really wise way to jump to it from there. From other positions, uh, I'm, I got, I'm a little skeptical of it. But once we get here, though, we want to make sure we're finishing it wisely. So, once I have it set up and I've got my grip on it, right now there are uh, five mistakes going on. Now, see how you can spot. First, here's the easy one. Look at that grip. Who grips this way with reaching from behind the back and over? That is mistake number one. All right, now if I reset this direction, things are looking a little bit better right here. I put the grip from the top side facing in. Everything is great. There is still, at this point, I'll go ahead and take it to the tap. You got your hand ready to tap? Yeah. There we go. There's a tap. But, four mistakes to go right here. What are they? Well, that's for you to try and figure out. I'm going to go ahead and give you a hint. One is on the gripping. Take a look at that. What the hell is wrong with that? A lot. Uh, two is on the pinning. Three is on the posture. And uh, four has to do with the, the direction of the torque. Um, so again, we pay attention to those. This is already wrong. Where my body is right now is wrong. Where my pinning position is wrong. And also my angle of attack. And also if my posture is upright in this way or even hunched this way, my hips out. Get out of here. Thank you. you Got to take off, champ. Uh, it, it, this is all wrong. So don't let, hopefully this doesn't feel like a cheat because I'm telling you, oh, what do we do? Well, that's for the paying customers on 174. But I just want to make sure if you're doing any of those mistakes already in it, Go back, either pick up a 174, all right, or uh, free market and all that, or, or pay attention, uh, reevaluate how you're doing it and see if you can figure out and determine why these might be grave errors. We will discuss how to run into that dorsal or shark fin position, top wrist lock, I mean a top uh, double wrist lock position, and we'll also discuss the bailouts from it if you have to, and not one of them involves a head scissors as beautiful and gorgeous and historical as they are. I got some major problems with some of the setups and what comes to it because a lot of the stuff is mighty easy to counter. I want to keep you top side where possible. I don't want you spinning off to short arms or, or, or full crossbody arm bars. We need to keep you on top. And what's going to keep you on top will pop that head right off if you miss the shark fin. But if you put in these, uh, we correct these uh, four mistakes, five if you count that first crazy one, uh, chances are you're going to finish off that shark fin. So, for more information about what we're covering on uh, 174, you know, if you have be releasing, I think today we're a day late on the whole thing. Have a look at that. Well, I'll break down the contents for you. You can take a look if you've got any questions. 
Well, take a look at the, the DVD and you'll know what's going on. Uh, just, so we're putting a lot of slip details in there. Oh, and brand new thing. You know, we've been doing the reverse lever now for about three years. Great. Brand new tweak on it. Oh, I wish I'd thought of it earlier. Anyway, have a look at 174.